Are you complaining? She's trying to put her fingers in my ass crack. Well, I want to hold on to something. I got two big fat ass cheeks, What's girl. over here? That's, <laughs> that's There's that. a loop. I got one. I'm in. I'm on. I'm feeling a little hungover. Because I had wine, red wine, with a friend last night. I killed a bottle. <gasps> a whole and, bottle? <laughs> and then we ate Parmesan cheese and that um, Italian sausage, supersada, whatever it is. Oh, it was delicious. I had a sm half a glass of Chardonnay with my fish dinner while mm. I watched... Um, Frost Nixon. Oh, that <gasps> movie! It was such a great movie. I loved it. Yeah. I mean, it is a minuscule mirror of what went on with the Bush admin. On, and it makes like... It wouldn't like, be a scandal now. Nixon would never have had to resign. No. What? Breaking in and, and, and sneaking, you know, spying on the... Your, the Democrats? Oh, please. I would have done that if I were a Republican. <laughs> oh, God. And so... Then you have Gonzalez, and they just get rid of all the Democratic liberal attorneys working for the Does government. that mean that eventually we're going to have, like, 20 years from now, an expose on what went down with Bush and, and company? I don't think we're going to have to wait that long. I think you're going to get it in, like three to five years, and I think Ron oh. Howard is the man to do it. Oh, Ron. Ron. We love you. Ron, wherever you are. <laughs> please I do so it. enjoyed that movie. Oh, thank you. We want to thank him. This is from a man. Um, I'm 24 and still a virgin. How should I go about having sex with someone for the first time? Well, I would hope that it would be with an older person who had some information. It's when two mm -hmm. kids get together. Novices. Oh, and they have no idea what to do. It would be wonderful if there was some... Um, in the Mrs. Robinson. Yes, we need more Mrs. Robinson. Some like older whore, maybe the divorcee or the single mom. Just any yeah. woman who w would have enough compassion to show this kid what, what it's about and, you know, not play games with him. It would, this is what, now, surrogate partners and some sex coaches do this. And uh, I did forward one, one of the, uh, a contact for him. Yeah, for a contact. And mm -hmm. that, um, you know, in the Native American, uh, system, they had what they called the firewoman, and this was an uh, an older woman, you know, middle aged, whatever, not a young youngin, mm -hmm. and she taught the Braves about sex. She showed them what to do. I with love them. it. Just play, take the pressure off, kiss, cuddle, caress. Don't go right to penetration. Like it's always a rush to penetration. Why couldn't they? Why couldn't they? Uh, uh, in the beginning, masturbate one another, and she said, "Yeah, say, yeah, and Here's watch what each I other. like. This is what I like. This is how when I masturbate, this is how I do my clitty." And then he watches, and then he reaches. She says, "No, that's no. Let do no, it softer, no, softer, or do it faster, or whatever." And the same, she could watch him do his mm -hmm, penis, mm -hmm. and this would be sharing masturbation would to me be the way to begin. I'm 19 and have never orgasmed during sex or masturbation. I've tried to orgasm my own, and when I'm penetrated, I feel like I'm going to urinate and defecate. How can I achieve an orgasm? So she's uncomfortable with ma a masturbation. <laughs> well, the reason she feels like she's going to urinate or defecate are those the only two sensations she's had down there. I haven't thought of that. Well, come on. You think she hasn't mm -hmm. discovered her clitoris, mm -hmm. so when she touches her vulva, it's like she hasn't done that, and so she has never had a, a like a... Mm, a sexual a no pleasure boom but not that urinating and defecating isn't pleasurable because it is but that's her that's her only association so she must masturbate see here's the thing that's missing in 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 your generation too because anyone who has a all the kids with full-time mothers never got to go and hide behind the garage or when you know when expose the, themselves to each other and or, and play house. Yeah. Oh, we learned so much when we played house. Yeah. And that, well, what are you doing? You're playing with sex roles. You're you're trying to figure out how it works. Yes. No. And and you want to see their genitals and they want to see yours. And then and, you feel them and poke yeah, poke at you stick them. Stick fingers and, in them. And, and we sim. I remember when we simulated intercourse. We <laughs> called it put the weenie in the bun. <laughs> And it's it was so sweet. It was so total, totally oh. harmless and darling and sweet. And it the other so one was sweet. the train in the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it seem like most men get aroused at watching women do things that they themselves would never do? Why are things like shoving a chick around, slapping her tits and genitals, and smunking her face so fucking erotic? Well, I believe it's called domination. <laughs> if, if dominating somebody gets you off, that's what you'd want to do. And now it can be reversed. Some women like mm -hmm. to do that to men, but it usually happens after they're married.
<laughs> Not I had me. a boyfriend that used to give me dick whippings, he would call it. And he would just jump on my chest and take his dick and hit my face Oh, dick it. slap. That's cute. That's fun. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> yes, that's like teabagging. <laughs> you know, did anyone get what... No, no one got the whole teabagging thing with the Republican Party. That's how you know they're sexually repressed. Oh, they don't know. It. None of them. But <laughs> Rachel Maddow knew. Of course she, she did. She giggled. And she's but probably it, never been teabagged. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, you're assuming lesbians don't have sex with men. Uh, well, I'm just saying. So, if, for anyone who doesn't know, and Eric used mm. to do this every now and then, it would just tickle me pink. You just gently lower your balls on top <laughs> of your girlfriend's face. And they're squishy and they kind of just, you know. And the skin's smooth and it kind and of just kind yeah, of it falls, cascades. It <laughs> falls into the little crevices and covers your nose. To all you repressed virgins. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. There's Hope. There's Betty Dodson. And Carl and Ross. And there's Dodson and Ross. Get on our website and just let's all make a commitment that sex will prevail. Yay!